Hey YouTube, how are you doing today? It's Nathan. Today, I thought I would try to do a video log. So, I'm using my shitty webcam so it doesn't take 300 hours to upload the uh, video to YouTube. I had a few requests since my last videos. One of them was to talk about philosophy. So maybe we can do that. I, I was thinking of something last night. I was thinking of people and the people on our planet and um, the future of humans and what it means to be human and things like that. And one of the things I was thinking of was how since humans have been on Earth, we have evolved and we have basically a long time ago, thousands of years ago, like 5,000 years ago, there were different ethnicities in isolated parts of the world. And these ethnicities were isolated and did not make contact with other humans for a long time. And eventually, we invented boats, we developed roads and highways, and uh, airplanes eventually. And now we have the internet, which has allowed people to video chat, there's also cell phones, texting. So my point is, is that what once was isolated pockets of human, human beings have now melted, like the melting pot you might have heard of, into a more congruous, that's not even a word. Um, Basically, my point is, human, different races used to be separate, and now we're together, and now we're actually developing children that are mixtures of different races. And my basic point I'm trying to get across is, my belief is that in another 500 to 1,000 to 1,500 years, humans on this planet will be actually a single race. We will all look very similar. There will not be black people, white people, Asians, Spaniards. There won't be any discernible difference in facial features and things like that and skin color. We will all be the same uh, race. We will all be human beings. Okay? Are you with me so far? So with that being said, there were different races and then I think in the future, in humans' future, there will be just one race of human beings. Now this may take a long time depending on the, the acceptance, open-mindedness, or hatred of different individuals. But the point is, I believe in at least, if we're still around by in at least 5,000 years, there will be a single human race and there will be no racism. Racism will be gone. So that being said, take that to a larger scale and think of the universe. The universe could be the same way. The universe could actually be... We are So once we are just one human race on Earth, then at that point we will go into the galaxy. And I think there are other species out there, other aliens that we haven't met yet. And basically the way humans were different races and then we became one race and are just humans now in say it's year you know 4,000 I think that will happen in the universe we will take spaceships we will be able to travel very fast whether we travel at the speed of light or not I don't know but we will travel into space and then we'll meet other aliens and the same thing will happen that happened on Earth aliens will interbreed and and there will be there'll be alien racism at the beginning and then after humans are one race now we travel into space and we meet other aliens conflicts occur but then we eventually become open-minded and the open-mindedness continues and then in fact the precedent of humans becoming one race will perpetuate into the future of aliens and we will become one race with aliens and different aliens say there's 10 aliens or 100 aliens in outer space or many thousands maybe millions maybe billions who knows we will eventually, and this will take, this will take even longer than it did for humans to become one race. This will take millennia, many millennia, maybe billions of years. I mean, if the universe is 14 billion years old, this could take another billion years, two billion. It could even take, I mean, it could really even take another five billion years, I don't know. But eventually then, there will just, we will interbreed. If we're actually even compatible, I don't even know if we can breed, but even if we're not physically compatible, we will find genetic ways and scientific and technological ways to amalgamate our, our genes into we will have we will by whatever means we can we will amalgamate all sentient life into a new single it's all about unification we're going to unify consciousness it's about a unified consciousness we're going to unify consciousness of the universe 
until we are again, with all the different aliens, become one race. It's about unification. Maybe, maybe this is just a theory. But they will all interbreed and become mixed alien species. And then eventually there will be after a long, 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 long time has passed. One. There will be one sentient life form that dominates the entire cosmos and basically that what happened on Earth will happen on a universal and cosmic scale. That being said, this could happen a third time. There's interdimensional rifts, there is technological species that will evolve. And basically the entire point of this ramble is that sentience will most likely unify into a single being that will basically be the manifestation of what people consider to be a god being a higher power. And we will be the manifestation and the, the evoking of that higher power. We will become our own higher power. And in doing so, dominate all of space, time, and matter, or yes, space, time, and matter, until basically we become what we now worship, which is God. We become gods. We become a god. In, in becoming God, we will feel the desire to create and spawn a new existence. And this may happen at the very end of the lifespan of the cosmos and we will become our own manifestation of God. So you could say what we worship now as a higher power was what we already were billions and billions of years ago. So we're actually worshiping ourselves. So it's basically an endless cycle that goes on indefinitely and has no beginning and no end. We came from God, we will become God, and we are one with God, and God is one with us, and there is no difference, there is no separation, just the separation we feel in our minds, an illusion created by our own mental complexes. So with that, I will end this video, but I hope you enjoyed my little rant, and please, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, Nathan Hayward's channel on YouTube. I will make videos whenever the fuck I feel like it. I'm not making a commitment at this point, but... I am most likely going to make more videos. So subscribe to this channel if you like this. More will come out. Um, like this if you liked it. And uh, comment if you want me to interact with you more. And I will comment on your comments. And uh, that being said, I hope you have a great day. And stay friendly. Bye.